So, in this one, we are looking at past paper exam questions on Fibonacci type sequences. Okay, so again, if you download the questions in PDF down below, you also get this uh, sheet on different types of sequences, so Fibonacci is when we get the next term by adding the two previous terms together. Page is also part of my brand new 50 page TCS Maths formulas and revision booklet which you can get to down below in the description. Okay then, first up, here are the first five terms of a Fibonacci sequence. 3, 3, 6, 9, 15. Write down the next two terms. So the next is 9 add 15. So that's 24. And then the next is 15 add 24, which is 39. Okay, then we have the first three terms of a different Fibonacci sequence, A, A, 2A, and we want to find the sixth term. So, the fourth is A add 2A, so that's 3A. The fifth is 2a add 3a, so that's 5a. So then the sixth is 3a add 5a, which is 8a. Okay, next up we have the fourth and fifth terms of a Fibonacci type sequence. 28 and 43, we want to show that the first term is 2. So, to go backwards through a Fibonacci sequence, we do the most recent term minus the previous term. So, we need to do 43 take 28. And that gives us 15. So the third term is 15. Then we do 28 take 15, which is going to give us 13. Then we do 15 take 13, which is indeed 2. Okay, then for part B, we've now got the first and third terms of a different Fibonacci type sequence. So the first term is A, third term is B. We want to work out an expression in terms of A and B for the fifth term. Okay, so the problem here is that we have a gap in the sequence. So, for now, I'm going to call the second term x. Now, we need to work out what that is in terms of a and b. So, we know that a plus x has to equal b. Now, to get x on its own, we subtract a from both sides. So we get x is b minus a. So our second term is b minus a. 
Now our fourth term is B minus A plus B. So that's 2B minus A. And then the fifth term is B add 2B minus A. So that's 3B minus A. Okay, next up, a Fibonacci sequence starts 3 minus 8. We want to work out the next two terms. So the next term is 3 add minus 8. Now, add minus 8 just means minus 8. So we got 3 minus 8. Uh, which is minus 5. And then the next one is minus 8. Add minus 5. So that's minus 8 minus 5. Uh, which is minus 13. Okay guys, that's all I could find for now on Fibonacci type sequences. Really hope it's helped. Take it easy. Take care.